episode two. So today we're going to talk about the holidays because um, it's actually very normal for kids who've been through trauma to have a little bit of difficulty during the holidays. We had one particular kiddo who pretty much from the time that the um, Halloween decorations started coming up till pretty much after Valentine's Day was um, having a lot of struggles. And so first of all, I want you guys to know out there that this is normal. I used to tell the kids all the time that what you're reacting to, it's not that you're abnormal, it's that you're reacting normally to an abnormal situation that you went through. Also want to make sure you understand that it's really normal for you to struggle because they're struggling and having extra challenges. And I know for me there were times that I felt a lot of resentment and you know just kind of feeling like, man, why do they have to ruin all the holidays? You've probably heard that phrase before, it's not you, it's me. Well, in this case, it's not you, it's them. So good moms have kids that the struggle with this all the time. We see this really regularly in my office when I'm dealing with children that will see them doing great all year long and all of a sudden their parents are like, man, nothing's working. It's so horrible now. And then I just want to tell them, hey, wait a minute, look at the time. It's either their birthday or it's Christmas or some big event is coming up like that. So what we're gonna do over the next, um, like almost two weeks is we're gonna take a look at five different reasons that uh, kids struggle around the holidays. And again, each time we do that, we're gonna talk about some ways to intervene. But today I just wanna give you an overview. Number one is uh, trauma triggers. Uh, holidays are hard for everybody. So what we see happening is that probably we have higher instances of domestic violence, abuse, and maybe if the kids are gonna be um, hurt, it's gonna be during the holiday times. And maybe if the parents were gonna be off on some kind of a bender, it was gonna be during the holiday times. So all these smells and sights and sounds of, of the holidays can trigger those old traumatic memories. The second reason is uh, grief uh, issues. They're, for those kids that can remember, they're remembering their moms and dads during this time and the special times, if they had any during this time, or how horrible the holidays were. And also for some of these kids, it could be a matter of you're doing all this great stuff for them and they're remembering what wasn't done for them before. Yeah, exactly. Then number three reason is sensory issues. These kids, uh, because of early developmental um, insults, their brains haven't developed just like the rest of ours. And so their, their lower brain, the areas in charge of the sensory things, get overloaded. And so all the lights and sounds and changes affect them. Fourth issue, self-regulation issues. Kids who already have a hard time with self-regulation do not do well with change. And guess what? Holidays are all about change. And the fifth reason that every kid struggles with is anxiety. And remember this, as anxiety goes up, functioning goes down. And so our kids get worse during the holiday season. Uh, on the next episode, we're going to discover the one thing that you can do as parents to make it worse. And until then, you can check out more of our resources at foreverhomes.org. And as always, make sure to flush. And wash your hands. See you next time.